Good morning, everyone. This is Flint with Garrett's and Acres. Getting ready to do some chores, so come along with me. I wanted to do a video this morning, um, show you these bucklings, because boys here that think they're dying every day, they're going to be going to sale in a handful of days. We got Labor Day this weekend. Well, Monday's Labor Day. And then uh, Tuesday, these guys will be going to Yates Center, Kansas, goat sale, and will be sold. And then uh, a bunch of does and dolings from mom's house will also be going to sale. So if anybody's interested in buying some Kikos, um, be at the Yates Center, Kansas goat sale on a Tuesday night because they'll be there. So that is the plan anyway. It'll be bittersweet. I'm ready for these guys to be out of here, but there again, you get an attachment to them just like anything, even if they are a pain in the butt. Yeah. Used to be good looking boys. Yeah, you too. Mom's keeping big boy there i'm gonna keep him and then they they're kind of juggling between five and six and seven does they don't know what they're keeping yet for sure but they're for sure keeping him which i'm glad he was our very first buck and he as you can see he's a hoss he's big that's why we call him big boy and uh kind of kind of like the guy the old man he's the mama cat and grayson it's funny y'all I've been following along. Great. This is Gracie. Well, I never look to see if it if it's a boy or girl. I just, I think I was told that it was a girl when I picked it up, maybe. And, or maybe I just thought that. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, the other day, Savannah's like, uh, do you know Gracie, a boy? And I was like, well, that sounds like a Grayson to me. <laughs> so, we ended up, got, uh, Mama Cat. And her kitten, which is another little, little female. And then we've got another little gray male running around. It's wild, wild, wild. But, uh, they're just, they're just barn cats. But they're kind of, they're kind of having words with each other this morning. So I don't know. Might be having some babies before long, maybe. But it's kind of started to sprinkle. So I'm going to get these boys fed real quick. Watch out. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Come on, guys. Come on. Get back. Get back, please. Back up. Come on. Come on. Man, they stand right in front of your legs. It's terrible. Get back. Get back. Oh, my gosh. See, this This. This is the part that I'm not going to... Ah, I'm not going to miss. Guys, I got to dump it over. Cannot feed. Hold the camera. Dump over the water. Or dump the tubs over. Got water on top of them. With you guys being stupid. It's the part that I will not miss. I love seeing them out here. Man. Okay, back up. It's all I'm doing is dumping the water off. Whew, they think they're dying. Here's that little gray kitten. Right there's the little wild gray kitten. Hi, Hummer. How are you? Yeah. Zorro. Looks like Hummer must have gotten one of the barns last night. He's pretty much dry. Zorro looks like a looks like a drowned rat, poor thing. I don't know why they like standing out in the rain. They do. Dump ah, all the water off these tubs. All right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to feed again. I'm gonna try to hold this camera. And dump some feed, boys. Come on, back up, back up, back up. Oh, then you guys back out of the, the huddle. Then you gotta pick another tub. Back out of the huddle. Yeah, I see you, boy. Sprinkle some of the brown chickens. All right, there we go. Good looking boys. You got the handful of 
bucklings in there that just aren't growing like they should be. I was hoping we'd average about 50 pounds a head, but uh, there's a handful of little bitty boogers in there. And like this little white one right here, it's just not very big. That'll hurt our, that'll hurt the average really fast. But they're gonna sell it anyway because I am pretty much, let's see, it's first of September. Um, I'm pretty well out of grass for what I've got fenced. So they're, they're out there eating a little bit, but for the most part, they're eating hay and feed. And so I'm just like, you know what? You either keep jumping, dumping feed to them and hoping they put weight on for the next sale, which is a month away, or just go ahead and get rid of them. They're all healthy right now. They all look good. We went through a little a bout of a stomach worm. Had to worm everybody, but as you can see, they're all good. So I think right now is the perfect time to sell. But they are good looking boys. I have yet to throw them on scale. I was gonna throw a handful of them on scale and I haven't done it, but I'm guessing some of these bigger boys are gonna go around 60 and then your smaller ones are gonna be, you know, 40. And then maybe some of them other ones might be even smaller than that, but. Then you got big boy there. It might surprise me. Last time we sold, uh, our average was 47 pounds. And I I can't remember how many I took, but I threw them all in that cage in the back of my pickup. So what shouldn't have been more than like 13. And I think there's 35 out here now, I think. Here with them two babies he's been raising. One of them's got a hurt foot. One of them's got a hurt foot, is limping on one foot. It's walking on one leg, I guess I should say. I tried to catch it yesterday, and that's not happening. Even just walking on one foot, I think it's fast. It went flying under that box car, and I chased all around over the llama barn. And I heard it cheaping, 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 and I was trying to figure out what was going on. It was in this rock pile, and it had a hurt leg. But it's not hurt that bad. It can still get around. I guess we'll go check on the chicks real quick. I think I move the chick house since our last video. Our last video, our chick house was sitting right here. It was getting pretty yucky on the inside. The floor was because I had a bunch of mice that moved into it. So I moved it over here along the fence. Hey guys, how are you? How are you? Y'all doing good? Hmm? Yep, you survived the storm last night. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, let me get you some water. Got her filled up. Well, it's about as full as you can get these things. At least this cheaper one. About that hole in the bottom. Anyways, so last night we was down at homecoming and oh, if I should shut this door, it's gonna be raining all day, I probably should. Had a couple people approach me and ask when I was on post videos again. Let me tell you, it's encouraging knowing somebody is actually watching the videos and somebody's following along and somebody cares enough to ask it when you're gonna post another video because they enjoy them. It really makes me motivated to keep keep it up whenever I don't feel like it. So there's times. So thank you all for watching. Give me motivation to keep on going. Think she wants fed? Come on. Come on. You know you eat in the box car. Feed the cats. I'm gonna come around here with a little bit of dog food and get attacked. Hey, you guys just ate. Back up. You don't need any more right now. You guys need to go out. I need on some grass or something. Go eat some hay. You don't need any more feed. You don't need any more feed. I hate when I get right in front of your legs like this and just stop. Get back. It's annoying. Huh, this is where we've been feeding the cats. That'll last them a day or two. We've got a little bit of straw left this year. We have, I think, that bale of actual hay and that bale. So we need to get some hay. 
The uh, box car is disgusting from them being in here. The goal, as soon as these boys are gone, well, not, maybe not as soon as, but as soon as it starts cooling off after these boys are gone, we are going to clean the floor, scrape it all out, clean it all up, and uh, have it ready for Savannah's goats or just whatever we decide to do. I'm not sure how quick she'll turn hers out. Probably not very. Probably let all this grow back up out here. I'm afraid that this big hedge tree here behind me, or we've already cut about half of it off. You can see here, that was the half that was dead. The half was alive. And it looks like there's one little bitty patch of green left up there now. So I'm guessing eventually that big hedge tree is gonna need to be cut down out of there. Got it, get it out of the way. Start burning on that stump. That's a big old stump. I don't know, had a little, little bit of green left in it, but not much. Frustrating, we got big, beautiful trees on our property. Love, I love trees, but uh, here's the problem. They've got some kind of rot going on, or they did have, I would say not anymore, but you can see they're like hollow on the inside. That tree there, hollow on the inside. That tree there, hollow on the inside. It sucks, but these really nice trees. Have that rot. I don't know if a beetle, some kind of a beetle got into them or what was going on, but every one of those kinds of trees in our yard has rot in the bottom of it. So this tree needs to come down anyway. It's in the way when you're trying to pull in here with a tractor or truck with the weeds bed with hay on it and stuff. It's in the way. So it needs to come down anyway. I'm not allowed to feed Savannah's girls because I'm not real sure what her mix is on her feed, so. You guys don't get to see that, but I can feed her bucks. I do know what I'm doing there. Come on, boys. Come on, Elvis. Yeah, we all know you want to eat. Come on. You don't miss a meal. You don't miss a meal. Gotta get this gate here. All right, boys. Here. There you go. Tell you what, Elvis, from when we got him to now, really bulked up. So I know he was a baby then, but man, he's a good looking boy now. Not that he wasn't then, but he's a really good looking boy now. If you look at some older videos of him, the hair on his back is terrible looking. It's all like singed off because he was just short enough to slide under the hot fence out here. And there was some wet mornings that his hair, I don't know from the dew or if it had rained, but he was wet and he'd slide underneath that hop fence and it would just like cut and burn the hair off and a flat line off his back. So the hair on top of his back looked awful for the longest time, but finally grew back in and slicked up. Looks really nice. He was a good looking goat. Well guys, I think that's going to do it for chores for the day. Appreciate all of you guys for watching. And until next time, God bless you from Garrison Acres.